new and red studio xc3 and fire monkey 2 is support for styling the non-client area and also support for the macintosh retina and non-retina styles both at design time and loading at runtime part of the rad studio xc3 bonus pack is the fire monkey premium style pack which includes a new jet style that provides a Windows, a Mac, and a Mac Retina style that you can use in your applications. When you download the zip file from the registered user downloads area and, un and unzip it, you'll see a directory called the Jet Style Pack, which has readme files, a license agreements, a sample program, and the styles. In the style folder, there are two folders, one for the Windows Jet Style and also the Macintosh Jet Style both the non-retina style and the retina style. The retina style, you'll notice, has a 2x in front of the, as part of the style name, so that you can know which one is the retina style. Let's take a look at how we can use these styles in an application. And we'll use the sample application that comes with Rad Studio XC3, and it's called the Controls Demo. Let's just run it on Windows to start. And one of the options it has in the menu is a load style. Load style lets us navigate to where our styles are. And at runtime, select a style. So let's load the jet style and take a look. Here, the jet style not only styles the client area, but it also styles the non-client area, the caption, minimize, maximize, and close buttons, and all of the other controls that are part of a FireMonkey application, including scroll bars, narrow and wide, the tabs. Now let's also build this control application for the Macintosh, and then see what the style looks like when it's loaded on the Mac. So we'll select the Mac OS X target platform and hit the Run button to compile and run it. And the controls demo will then be compiled and deployed over to the Macintosh. I'm running Macintosh Lion operating system. And we'll choose the menu Load Styles. And we'll choose a folder where I've put those Macintosh styles, the, the Jet style for Macintosh and the Retina style. I don't have a retina display, so I can't really show you that, but I'll show you the, the non-retina style uh, for the Macintosh. And again, we have the whole client area, including the border, the caption, the minimize and maximize and close buttons, uh, status bars, scroll bars, and so on, all styled uh, for the Macintosh. And again, if we were on a retina display, we could load the retina style uh, into our application. And if you want to build an application and compile in the styles for Windows and Mac and also support styling the non-client area. Let me show you an easy way to do this using conditional compilation for both Windows and Macintosh. We'll say File New, FireMonkey Desktop Application, and we'll put down three style books. Also on the forum, Notice that there's, there's a new property called Enable Border Styling that is by default set to true. This enables client area and non-client area styling for your application. If you only want to style the client area, then turn off Enable Border Styling. Now with these three style books, we'll name one of them a style book win. And that's going to hold our window style. And then we'll have style book Mac and style book uh, Mac Retina. And then we can click on the resource property to choose the style that we want to place in that style book. So for the Windows style, we'll choose that say Jet style for Windows. And then for the Mac Macintosh non-Retina style, we'll set the resource to the Macintosh style and then for the retina style, we'll go and set the resource property to that Jet 2X style. There's one other property for a style book that's been added. And for the Macintosh, we'll want to look at this high res style book property and we'll set that to the style book for a retina style. That way, when we run our application on a Macintosh, if it's a non-retina Macintosh, then it'll load the regular style book. If FireMonkey sees that it's running on a retina Macintosh, then it'll use this high-res style book property to automatically load the style book that we need for the retina style. And then on the form create, 
And then on the form create event, we'll put some code in so that we can choose which style book the application is going to use when it starts up and creates the form. So we'll say if def MS Windows, and then we'll set the style book for the form and for the application to style book Windows and put the end if. And then for Macintosh, we'll put in if def and we'll set the style book for the form equal to style book Mac and then put the end if. With this code in the form create, we'll then choose the right style book for Windows when we compile for the target platform Windows and the right style book for our application to be style book Mac. And remember that in style book Mac, we also set the high res style book to be the style book which loads the retina style when we compile for Windows that has that non-client area styling for our application. And the same thing on the Macintosh for Retina and not Retina style. Remember the FireMonkey Premium Style Pack, which gives you the, this Jet style, is part of the Rad Studio XE3 bonus pack that you get when you purchase and register Rad Studio XE3, Delphi XE3, or C++ Builder XE3.